Welcome back. Now, before we go any further, I just want to stress that what I'm about to describe is something that has worked for me. It may not work for everybody. So bear that in mind when thinking about maybe doing this for yourself. Now, the power of negative thinking. Now, you would think that is the most opposite thing that someone who suffers from depression wants to do. But I've found that it's worked for me. Now, before I get into this whole technique, or technique if, if that is what you can call it, I just want to give you a quick background and say that 2019 has been a particularly shitty year for me. Um, I did manage to escape a job of 12 years, which was leading me to a point in life whereby if I didn't quit, I was going to end up doing something silly. And I think we all know what I mean by that. So that part of my life is in the past. Then in the summer, uh, I suffered the loss of my father. Uh, I lost my mother four years ago. And the, the sudden loss of my father has hit me particularly hard. I had to return to Scotland to deal with a lot of things, as you can imagine. So now I'm back in America and it felt as if depression was slowly creeping back into my life. Now, as you may know, I quit using antidepressants over a year ago. And for the most part, I've been doing really well. Um, but as you can imagine, the news I had to suffer this year has sent me back a little bit. So since being back in America, I've been back, I think, about four or five weeks now. I began to realize that depression was setting in again. And I knew that I did not want to go back to the psychiatrist and get prescribed more of that junk. So I had to come up with a way of, you know, combating it myself. And I've done, I've come up with something that I think, well, I shouldn't say think, I know it works for me. This may not be for everybody, but let me just go ahead and describe what I've been doing. I've been using the power of negative thinking to beat depression. And I can tell you, for me, it's working. It may not work for everybody, but just listen to what I'm going to tell you. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, one of the major sources of my depression in 2019 was the realization that the job I'd had for the past 12 years was doing me a lot of psychological damage. Uh, it was one, a very toxic environment. Two, the people I had to work with were some of the worst people you could ever meet in life. And three, the traveling to and from that job was taking its toll on me, uh, psychologically speaking. Now, having come back to America and being free of that job, I was finding that I was still waking up feeling a little bit depressed. And in truth, I have nothing to be depressed about. That job, which was causing me so much uh, mental, or so many mental problems, is now gone. But I wasn't really comprehending that fact. So what I began doing was, you know, maybe a week or so ago, when lying in bed, about to fall asleep, I began focusing on that job and recreating some of the scenarios that I dealt with. I was recreating the, the travel to work and it got me waking up having had pretty vivid dreams about that place. I was waking up and feeling awful that I had to go back there. And then of course you realized, but wait a minute, I don't have to go back there. And that realization just takes so much weight off my shoulders. So what I was doing was, uh, you know, I had to ride the New York subway to get to work. And that is just, it's, it's the most awful transit system. It's, it's, it stinks, it's dangerous, it's expensive. So what I would do is, as I'm lying in bed, about to fall asleep, I imagine myself swiping my card through the turnstile, going down the steps, waiting for the train, getting on the packed train, people pushing and shoving, shouting and yelling at each other. 
and then I get off the train, I get into the office building, and I had a long corridor to walk along. I'd imagine myself walking along that corridor, I'd get my key card out, I'd scan the key card, open the door, see faces of people that I cannot stand. I would reenact scenarios of, you know, altercations with some of these people. I would basically just submerge myself back in that uh, environment. And in doing so, nine times out of 10, it would cause me to have dreams about that job. And some of the various interactions, some of the disputes, the, the stupid squabbling. And they were vivid dreams. And I would wake up in the morning and I'm thinking, oh my God, I've got to go back to this hellhole. And then you realize, wait a minute, no, I don't. And the weight just comes right off. It's, it's, it's something, you know, I, I, like I said, it works for me. It may not work for everybody, but for me, it's when you wake up and you're still that sort of semi dream state and your heart kind of sinks. You're thinking, oh God, I've got to go back to that hell hole. And then just a few seconds later, it's like, no, I don't. And it's the most wonderful feeling to know that that part of your life is gone. It's in the past. And there's so much more to look forward to. And, uh, you know, so I think it's important. I think it is important to remember where you came from, no matter how uh, hard, how disturbing those memories are, don't forget them because you need to recall those memories to, to realize that you are now in a good position. And I am, I have no reason to feel depressed because I've escaped what was essentially 12 years of hell. Yes, there will be other issues that crop up along the way. I, I understand that. But for me, this is something that works and it really does work amazingly well. So, you know, if you're watching this and you are feeling depressed, um, give it a go, you know. It may not work, but give it a go. Just as you're falling asleep, just try to remember some of the bad things that happened in your life. And there's a very good chance that by doing so, you will have a dream about those bad times. And you're gonna wake up, you're gonna feel like hell, and then you realize that it was in the past, it's not real. It's just, it's amazing. So anyway, I, I thank you for watching this and bearing with me as I ramble on. Um, but please do stay tuned because there will be a lot more fun things coming to this channel including a number of Christmas specials. So please do like, please subscribe. See you next video.